on this very day. Today is Friday, the 30th of October, in the year of almost Hayelu 2020. The time now is 5 minutes past 7 a.m. in the land of Biafra, and the same number of minutes past the top of the hour, regardless of where you are and what you're doing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good, good night to some of you. This very broadcast this morning is going out live. That is why I've just given you the time. If you check your time now and it's six minutes past the hour, then you know we are live. If it is not, you're listening to a repeat broadcast or a podcast. My name is Anam Dekanlo. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra all over the world. The director of radio Biafra and Biafra Television. And by the very special grace of the Most High Elohim, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, and now by commission, or should I say omission, also a servant of Nigerian youths, wherever they are. We are going to pray a short prayer, the prayer that Yeshua taught his followers, his disciples, to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom. Every power and every glory belong to thee now and forevermore, we pray. He said, he said, he said, our lines will open shortly, but before I do so, there are one or two things that I would like to say. Yesterday was a day of mourning for us. Not because Fulani Janjaweed came to kill us, which they normally do, but because we, K, who happens to be an Igbo man, have now joined other people as well in this orgy of violence against his own people. It is very sad and unfortunate that Igbo airplane is not working, and that is the reason why all this nonsense is happening. I hold those who are in charge of our real estate station in Ibuacha responsible that in this very critical period, our Ibuacha FM is not working, it is a shame. The same thing also with some people who have been collecting money from the high command, from myself and from some members of the DOS to tend to those who are injured and dying at home. Everybody puts in a request or a suggestion, the money is sent and that money disappears the same way it does in the zoo. It doesn't give me joy at all. It is a thing of pain that in this very effort to restore Biafra, at least to be this, I expect from people is to be sincere and honest, especially when people are injured or dying or are under attack. Another thing I must make abundantly clear is that we must learn to listen to instructions and do as we are told. Some of us at home are in the habit of doing what we want when we want to do it. That is not how it's supposed to work in a freedom fighting situation. Once you receive an order, you move and do the thing you're asked to do. That is why you are under a command. The genocide has been happening in Iguacha for the past few days, has been well documented and chronicled, and everybody responsible will be held accountable. That I can assure you. Things can no longer be like before. I have also received a lot of representations from people far and wide all over the world saying that from now onwards, anything we intend to do, we shouldn't announce it. So don't expect me to come here to tell you what, we, what we're going to do in respect of the genocide going on in Obibo, but I can assure you we are going to avenge. And in a very spectacular manner at that. Do not be discouraged. We know what we are doing. And when it happens, you will hear about it. We will not announce it, but you will hear about it. Because I've been told in no uncertain times, what is due the zoo animal. I have also received a lot of representations from people far and you will hear about them from now onwards because a lot of things are about to happen. So you have to bear with me. It is not everything that I will tell you or give command of live over the air. Please, you must bear with us. I mourned those that died yesterday and I prayed for them ceaselessly throughout yesterday. And my promise to those who are suffering, those who have been arrested, is that they are going to be released, of course. Eventually they will be released because they've done nothing wrong. But we can pray very, very dearly for this. Very, very dearly for this. Because there is a gang up, as you well know. Luciferians are in charge of the affairs of the world. That is why they're fighting Trump. 
children of darkness, descendants of Lucifer. They do not see the wrong that this dude does. If Nigeria kills you and you make any representation abroad, nobody will listen to you. That is a fact. I'm just telling you the truth. But as soon as we do something or we respond to the brutality of the state of the zoo, people that have interest in our oil and gas, they will start to jump up and down because they think that the coming of Biafra threatens their stranglehold over the natural resources in our land. And the governors are not helping either. You all know that Dave Romani and all the governors, they paid for the army to be deployed to our land. So it is a coordinated effort by the governors to kill as many people as possible. Do not trust any evil governor. Not one say, not one, one of them. They are all the same. Their job is to serve the Polish and Jawid to maintain their idiotic status as political leaders from the East. That is the only thing that is of concern to them. If you ask them to kill all of us, for them to get the presidency or the vice presidency of Nigeria, they will do, gladly do so without any hesitation. No evil governor is trustworthy. Not one single, not one individual amongst them. They are very wicked and they are very evil, willing to kill and sacrifice their own people. How is that people fought with Yorubas in a suburb of Lagos, in a part of Lagos? The Lagos state governor never asked the army to come and kill Yoruba people. But in our land, any time Fulani people rape our mothers, our daughters, our daughters, and we react proportionately, the governor of that very state always invariably invites the army to come and kill us. That tells you all you need to know about the priorities of these people and those who, are, who they are actually serving. Therefore, we must be very careful with them. They hate us and they despise us because they want to make the Fulani oligarchy become lord and masters over the children of life, and that is not going to happen. It will never, ever happen. I thought before that they were going to become sensible or reasonable as a result of what transferred. They pleaded and begged for us to clean up our land and return to normalcy so they can look into the yearnings and aspirations or let's say the demands of the young people. I did exactly that. We cleaned up. The protest became more peaceful. What Umahi and the rest of the Igbo governors did was to invite the army once again into our land. So anything you hear or see from now going forward, do not blame me, do not blame IPOB or anybody else for that matter. Igbo governors are murderers all the way from Wiki to Umahi. And they're going to pay very dearly for it. We are live and we are direct this morning and it is very, very sad that any time I tell people something, zoo animals in Nigeria especially, they don't listen. But eventually, as I told you, anything I tell you here comes to pass. I told you that the problem of Nigeria is Britain through Fulani Janjaweed. The problem you have in Nigeria is Britain coupled with the stupidity of a black man. A very potent and deadly combination. Because here I will always tell the truth. Some people may not like it, but tough, I will tell you the truth. Do you know the reason why Britain hasn't spoken about SARS? Why you write letter after letter to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office? You make representations to your MPs? You write to whoever is serving as the British High Commissioner? And nothing comes out of it. Or nothing comes of it. Because Britain wants you dead. Britain are the people running the Zoological Republic through the Fulani. As a proxy, they are the backseat drivers. They are the ones making sure that you die at the hands of these animals every blessed year. Britain is the country that supplies arms and ammunition to, Ni to Nigerian army, not to fight Boko Haram, but to kill innocent people. I am British. I hold a British passport. I will defend the British interest because I am an Anglophile, but I will not defend British murder and cover up. Britain are the people killing you through SARS run by the Fulani people. They are in this game together. Anything I tell you is the truth. I will not knowingly lie to the children of God. It's not possible. If I lie to you, Chief of I will strike me dead. I won't do it. Anything I tell you is the truth. I hold a British passport, as you all know. I will not do anything either to jeopardize British interest. That is why in a new Biafra, Britain will make more money from Biafra than they are now doing from the Sweden, called Nigeria. But they will do it legitimately. British companies will come to invest in Biafra land. It is called inward investment. All those British companies that they drove away 
like Liverpool Rush, which they named Unilever and all the rest of them, they will all come back. Even the Greek company that um, a lot of British people own majority sharing, which is Visa Industries, part of the companies, they will all come back to where they used to be in Jaffa land. They will make money, but they will do so legitimately and legally. United Kingdom, Britain facilitated training and supplied equipment to SARS. What it means is that since it was Britain that trained SARS, it was Britain that asked SARS to take people's phones, to kill people and harvest their organs, to be very brutal, to be very evil and very wicked. It is here. Every newspaper in the zoo carried it. UK trained SARS and gave them the guns with which they are now killing people with. Britain. Britain is not satisfied that they came and took us as slaves, as farm animals, for free. Britain is not satisfied that when we gave birth to children in the West Indies, in the Caribbean, and also in the USA, they sold our children to make profits. They were not satisfied. When slavery was abolished, Britain came and colonized. They were not satisfied. They took our palm oil, took our cocoa, took our cola, took everything from us without paying for it. We did not complain. They were not satisfied. After colonialism, they kept the zoo, green, white, green flag, and was running the country basically from the shadows, making money from us. Nobody complained. Britain did all of these things and nobody complained. Now, Britain of all people is an accomplice in the slaughter and murder of innocent young people in the South by virtue of the fact that they trained and equipped stars. Despite years of complaints, despite years of campaign, despite years of Britain knowing what SARS was doing, Britain kept giving them money. Which means that is what Britain wants to do. Britain wants to kill as many young people from southern Nigeria as possible. That's what they want to do. And that's what they have been doing. That is the reason why they couldn't condemn what happened. That was why British High Commissioner went to Bola Meritinubu to kill the protesters and to break those protesting at the middle of But because some of you are black, idiotic and African, you will not reason through what I'm telling you. That is why the British government have not come out to offer any robust condemnation of what happened or what is still happening in Nigeria. Britain took us as slaves and sold us and made money. Barclays, you see Barclays Bank? Do you know how much money they made? You see Barclays Bank? Do you know how much money they made from slavery? You have no idea. Britain was at the forefront of selling indigenous populations of West Africa. They emptied it. They were not satisfied. They came back. They colonized. They pillaged. They stole. They were not satisfied. They came back and basically gave power to idiotic people and to it to rule Nigeria on their behalf. Yet they are not happy because Britain who is in charge. The same Britain is now training and supplying equipment to murderers. So Britain is an accomplice to murder. And whenever any international panel will be set up or uh, some sort of um, a board of, or commission of inquiry, the role of the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office must be investigated in the training, financing, and equipping these very deadly murderous police units. How do we come to know this? Because a very brave British MP, because, you know, in England, you can do whatever you like. In the UK, we cannot lie. Once you're a minister and you receive a letter asking you simple questions, you must answer and answer honestly. And that was what happened in this case. Listen carefully, please. The British government has said, the British government has said it trained and equipped operatives of the special anti robbery squad, SARS from 2016 to 2020. So all these years that people have been cataloging and complaining about SARS, all the previous campaigns that people have held about SARS, Britain knew about it. They did not stop. Britain knew that SARS was killing people, massacring people, harvesting their organs, selling it to Indians. Britain knew. British government knew. They kept sponsoring SARS. They kept on funding SARS. That is why I say that black people are their own worst enemy. It's not even the white man. Black people are their own worst enemy. Britain, talking about human rights, about the need, and about, anyway, it's just, it's just theory, just so. I don't know why they have the need to always want to rule and lord it over other people. 
I don't know what is wrong with Britain, especially the foreign government. They always want to lord it over other people. They want to rule stupid African people by all means. And they are not only satisfied with that. They also want to kill everybody in the process to help the Fulani Janjaweed. Britain has never come out in strong and offered any strong condemnation of the brutality and atrocities of the Nigerian and the Nigerian police, especially SARS. Never. They will never condemn them. Never. Is it a surprise to you that as soon as Katrina Lang went to see Tinubu, the army opened fire on the protesters? Because Britain was trying to cover up their role, they wanted the protest to end immediately. So the international community will not take interest in what is happening or in the outcome of any investigation. Because if you investigate SARS, you will see that if SARS was funded by the British government not 20 years ago, not 30 years ago, they kept funding SARS until 2020. Until 2020. Not only funding them, it was Britain that trained them. You know when you go for training, you listen to an instructor. You do what your instructor asks you to do. So it was Britain that asked them to go and be killing innocent people. Because they were trained by them. Are you following? Are you listening to what we are saying? Hey dear, I want to thank Kate Osamo, who is the MP representing Edmonton. The UK Minister for Africa is James Dubridge, a white man. He wrote, he responded to the letter that Kate Osamo had written to him, asking for clarifications on the role that Britain played in funding and equipping SARS, the Madras Police Unit. Anywhere else in the world, this will make fun, this will make fun big news everywhere. But because it's in black Africa, they will not cover it. They will not cover it. Very, very sad indeed. So all the ill treatment, torture, extrajudicial killings, including the bodies in the Zoo River, all uh, courtesy of the British government, those that colonized you, those that sold you as slaves, colonized you, and now imposed their neo-colonialism through full and idiocy, illiteracy, stupidity, and gender Buddhism. That same Britain is now responsible for funding the death of young people in the South, including those killed at the Zoo River. It's Britain that we should be holding responsible. And of course, the full and gender Buddhism. Britain should be held responsible for it because they offered the training, the finance, and the support as well for SARS. I don't know if some of the harvested organs were sent to Britain. Maybe we need to investigate. I'm not sure. Maybe Britain was financing SARS in order to have a, a stake or share in the organs that were being harvested from young people in the South. That is the world for you. This level of hypocrisy is condemnable. Condemnable, I tell you. That is Britain for you in Africa. They always want to rule. They must rule somebody. They must be in charge of somebody. You must call them Lord and Sir. Somebody came, his name is Frederick Lugard, a white man, they do it. Came to Africa and all of you are calling him Lord. Lord Lugard, Lord Lugard. When somebody calls me, when somebody says, my Lord, and I'm the kind of people who want to hang themselves. Because black people are stupid and very useless. Stupid and useless. That's Britain for you. Britain wants you dead. They don't want Biafra to come. Britain was sent by Lucifer to make sure that Biafra will never come because once Biafra comes, Africa can now be able to see. That is their job and they're doing it very well. They have accomplices everywhere. In Fulani Janja Buddhism, in Ohaneze, and some ethnic jingles in Yoruba land. They want the continuation of the reign of the white man over the affairs of black people in Africa. And we are going to resist it. Intelligently so. We are resisting it already. And that is why, no matter what they do, Biafra must come. That is why Igbo governors are going to pay very, very dearly for what they have done. Any day that we get steps outside the zoo, into any country, the world will hear his story. You watch and see what's going to happen. They must know what they, they, they must know what happened to Jubilee when he went to Japan last year. You know what happened to Jubilee last year in Japan? The way he was running and he did not attend the conference? Have you heard of that in Japan? Because we were there on the ground. The Japanese people knew that the blood was fake, not the real Buhari. We can you are oh, Chinat and other the people that shouldn't say much live and I'm not gonna say much. But you'll hear the story. You are full of people are hating you. All of you forgot 
that Igbo businesses were damaged in Kano as a result of this NSAS protest. Nobody covered it up. Let's talk about it. You hypocritical black monkeys in Africa. Black baboons in Africa. No wonder Britain called you nigger. Nigeria. Very sad indeed. I have never seen and I do not hope to meet a more useless idiotic set of human beings that they have in black Africa. People who cannot make use of their, their brain. People who are, I don't know, paralyzed with fear. You see a white man and you, 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 you become very, very submissive. As if you're cursed. As if you're possessed. That white man is not happy. That white man is still killing you. Because he knows no matter what he does to you, you're a nigger, you're black, you're useless, you're foolish. You can't even recall. We were in America, we gave away free labor for 250 years. Nobody paid anyone for it. On top of that, if you give birth to your child, they sell your child. Today, blacks are still suffering in America. Because those that went before us were not bold enough to speak the truth and stand on the truth. Here we speak the truth and we stand on it. Sars, end, sars, end, sars, end, sars. People should also be complaining about an end to British neocolonialism. Blacks are indeed very, very stupid. This Britain has been killing you. Britain, are, is the, they are the people killing you through SARS. And that blood-sucking demon that you're in Blood-fucking demon. A very wicked, one of the most wicked people I've ever seen. A very, very wicked and evil woman. You people are funding SARS. SARS are killing people. You read about it. You hear the complaints. You're still funding them. Because you want to to maintain control over everybody with terrorism and with fear. Look at COVID, what they're doing in Obigo. Did any Yoruba go report it? Did any Yoruba newspaper report it? The answer is no. Because it didn't happen in Yoruba land. It happened in Yoruba land. Why must they report it? Some of you do not know what is happening because you're blind. You are black and you're blind and you are stupid. Stupid upon stupidity upon stupidity. This UG. Black people. British, or should I say, the British government are the ones killing you through Fulani. That is the reason why there was no end size protest in Sokoto. Don't you understand? Fulani are the ones killing you. They are the ones with the contract to kill, to eliminate, to diminish your numbers. And you idiots in the South cannot see it. You believe well. Stupid fools. You have eyes that are closed. You cannot see it. Mad people everywhere. Britain, you see, we play. It's part of the alliance. Oh, I don't. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hate evil governors, but you see, we play. We play. Oh my God. Anyway, you heard the story very soon. I don't want to say much on there. I will now endeavor to open our lines and take your calls. If I accept you, please try and call. I don't know when black people will learn. Black people from Africa, I don't know when you people are going to learn. If at all you will learn. I don't know what is wrong with you people. What is wrong with you people? That you cannot reason. What is wrong with you people? That you cannot reason. This no is black. What is wrong with you people? May Elohim have mercy upon your stupid wretched souls, black people. A white man is there laughing with you, smiling with you, beating, laughing and smiling, laughing and a woman for that matter. Meanwhile, they received all the reports of sound brutality. Yet, Britain took funding SARS. They know the Nigerian army is not going to fight terrorism. They are coming to kill innocent people. They will give them weapons. They keep giving them weapons. Take caller on the line, please. Your name and where you are, and you ask your question, please. Today is question and answer. Go ahead. Good morning, Martin. My name is Samuel. I'm coming from America, Spain. From America, Spain. Please go ahead. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. This uh, when you say I want to ask a question uh, because there was an order in case in 2014. Because this thing that is going on now, we don't know where it's leading to. There's an order in case in 2014, in case if anything happens to you, what you should do to the zoo government and the those that protected it. I want to ask, as now you are outside or we don't even know what uh, where we are, in case anything happens to you because uh, what are we going to do? I want you to to touch in that uh, all the animal in case of because we don't know because we don't know what our enemy is planning because uh, if they see a way to eliminate you, that it will be the first thing and the foreign is and their agent will pay any amount to exterminate your life. So I want to know if the order still stands. Thank you. The order, first, the order still stands. It doesn't change. The order is there. It doesn't change. It doesn't change at all, at all, at all. Should anything happen to me? The end starts protest will be a child's play. I don't understand this. And they'll be chased around all over the world. One idiot is asking, you said you take the war to the north. It's coming. It is coming, I said. More cocoa. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello. You were, I can hear you again. Yes. Your name and where you are and your question, please. 
Yeah, um, my name is uh, Nemeka Bakinji. Where are you calling from? So, uh, I'm calling in the respect of... Um, Where are you calling from? The inter from Indonesia. Please go ahead. So, the interview they granted you yesterday, there was a question you asked the man. What you ask him in the question, and he, he diverted the question. You ask him, What have you achieved as a Nigeria since 1960 to now? Then, and he asked him, What are the values of Nigeria? And he diverted it. Did you, I felt so bad. He diverted it and saying that Nigerians are uh, intelligent. That is this is the answer to the question they asked you? Saying the Nigeria is intelligent, what beings are made to be intelligent if you ought to have one? But he didn't answer the question that I called to the people sometimes they know the question but they don't want to answer it. They can't answer the question because they don't, they don't want to look bad. They don't want the Nigerian government to see them as um, bad people. But the chief did want to do it very well yesterday. He asked because the thing is that what makes an interview interesting is the is the quality of the questions. I think he asked good quality questions. It was an interview and I asked him and he said we can exchange views and ideas, which means an interview. Between two or three or four people, you ask me, I ask you, I answer, you answer. When I ask him a question to tell me what Nigeria can be proud of after 60 years, he said intelligent people. That's what I'm asking about. I'm talking about Nigeria as a state. In terms of the impact Nigeria has made on the lives of its people, and he said Nigerians are intelligent. That's not the answer to the question, with all due respect. The thing is that he didn't want to say, he didn't want to say that Nigeria is a failure. He didn't want that to come from his mouth. Is for those who are watching and listening to be able to deduce from his answer exactly. what he had actually intended to convey. And what can only do? You see, these media in uh, the West Korean Republic, they are all corrupt. Like that governor saying that all the whole family in the whole Africa should be coming to, you know, the West, I mean, the South. We don't know what is coming to us. They are cowards. They don't, listen, listen, my dear, the journalists are cowards. They are cowards in the South. If anybody were to say that thing now to say, oh, I want to use um, um, e water to bring all the evils to come to live in e water, hey, that same day, the army will invade my house. Somebody came, came up and said, there is no border in the north. The man said, we are working to bring full army from the Sahel, all of them to come to settle in Nigeria. They can be in Niger Delta, they can be anywhere. They have cattle, they live in the bush, and everybody just looking like an idiot. I think they are doing something. You know, you know they sleep with their cattle, and then they kill the cattle they give us to eat. And that is what has so it's like they are sleeping with us spiritually. I'm telling you, they, they have messed people up in that zoo. They have messed people up. And the media did not ask me a question. As look at Chinese now, China now. Because China in Malaysia is in Singapore. Then they have to allow the whole China, China people to come to Singapore or in Malaysia. They just They don't even think of those things. The zoo, the zoo media is, is one of the worst. They were doing well. I was facing them and say, oh, they are doing well in the public of the South thing. As soon as that is full of with the intimidation and terrorism. Full of what they did is to say, oh, um, uh, NBC, find them. Once NBC issued five million is it, or five billion naira fine to, to channels, to AIT, and to Arise Television, all the newspapers they changed the next day. You heard that idiot call himself Desmond, the idiot they called uh, somebody called me. That fool, okay. that inconsistent. You see why I don't watch Hollywood movies? They are stupid. They are foolish. They oh my God in heaven. Those people. They are foolish. Oh my God. Look at what the idiot was saying. A young person saying they should um, uh, 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 shut down the internet. If you have a movie of Desmond Elliot in your house as a CD or as a disc or anywhere else and you're watching it, Anyway, you're going to black. black. What do you know? This UG, useless set of idiots. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Thank you, sir. What is happening in Abba today? Uh, it's not really much. It's not really much. But I have a question. What do you say? Question and answer. Please go ahead and ask your question. People said that our some somebody said that um, the the um our our IPOB committee radio is repeating. Is that correct? And it comes. Please go ahead and ask your question. Go ahead. I was listening to, to the FM before calling in. Oh, FM, I, FM. I want to know if the app is repeating, please. Is the app repeating? I will try that to, to, before to confirm that. So, but my question is this. I was a mentor. Uh, I'm asking you one question to ask you. Uh, he said that, uh, why is it that the, the drum signal that came before the, the national anthem of Jafra is not being played? What? The, to, to the, the drum signal. Is that, is, that, is that the person's problem? What I would listen, the national anthem that I play is a tribute to Professor Innocent Udenigo. 
That is, that is the version that I play. A tribute to Professor Innocent Penibo. That is what I need you to, to understand. Please, in case you South Africa, fix this very app. What, what the hell is going on? Fix it. Why is the app repeating? Fix it immediately. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for that. That is the reason why. That is the reason why, please. It is a tribute to the said the radio is working very well. Please, some of you should refresh your phone, phones. Refresh your phone and stop writing rubbish to me. Refresh it. Refresh your phones. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning from here, sir. Yes, please, guys. Please, go ahead. Okay, sir. I just wanted to, I just wanted to contribute, uh, contribute. That the time they sit at that same level to have that meeting, the outcome is always how to subjugate our how to kill, not to murder, how to murder people. That is what they always do. And some people should be defending them. Some bastards should be defending them. Huh? Uh. That is what they always do. I see them now with all of them, all the failures, all the fat people are over the cage, gather the workers, talking jargon every day and night. My contribution to the Secretary has we should devise a modality on how to deal with these people because it's been a long, a long age suffering. They don't have been dealing with us, and every time they go to country because nobody has been touching them. Because this time around, it's either we, it's, it's either they listen because how many are they that they have to sit down and decide our future from time to time and nothing happens. Look at what we can do, look at what uh, the devil Mahi is doing, all of them conspiring with the enemy, killing our people. I think enough of that nonsense. And secondly, sir, I think our, um, I think our in house security needs to be, need to be talked to. I know. Most time when all these things happen, so that we can also have a way of getting back to these people. And not every time we come to, it is good for us to shout. But when they are killing us, we should also be doing something on the ground. So that they too, they will be feeling it. That is my just little contribution here for sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And I said to people, once you're in a revolution, you don't go home to sleep. You don't go home to sleep once you're in a revolution. Because the enemies, once you stop fighting, the enemies will come after you. I warned them, do not go home. And people went home. And that is a very massive problem. That is a very massive problem. When you are in a revolution, please, I beg of you, do not go home. Do not all the able-bodied men and women, you don't sleep in the house. All the able-bodied men and women, you don't sleep in the house because it is a revolution. I have restarted the system, and I believe that the app will be okay right now. The app should be okay, please. I have refreshed and restarted the system. The app should be okay. The app should be okay. By now, the community radio does not refresh anymore. I don't know what it means by refresh. Is it working now? Is it working now? I need to know. Is it working? That is a problem with our system here, I can see. I don't know what it is, but that is a problem. I can see it is not going out. It is not going out. I don't know what the problem could be. We are doing all we can to rectify it. He says here connecting, and I want to see it because I want those also in Biafra land, in Lagos, in Kano, in Abuja, who are listening via FM to follow what we are doing this morning. They said there is an error on the encoder. There is an error on the encoder, and they are trying to fix it. I don't understand what this is. They said they are trying to fix it, and as soon as they do, then we shall reconnect. We shall reconnect. Please, um, whoever is doing what they are doing, please get away from the system so that I can try and remedy it from here. Because there is, um, I can see there are attempts to try to fix it from the back panel. It is showing here. Please stop so I can try and fix it from this very angle. Because right now our FM is not talking. And I don't know why that is because each time I come on air, that is when these things happen. Each time I'm live on air, that is when it happens. It doesn't happen any other time, only when I am live on air. Only when I am live on air, that is when these things happen. That is when it happens. Very, very sad indeed. Well, we are live on Facebook, please. People can come on Facebook to listen. For now, until this very problem is, is rectified. Until it is rectified, because I'm restarting the entire system for those who are listening via FM in Biafra land. I'm restarting the entire system to see if we can fix it. This problem always occurs each time I am live on air. I am going to accept some requests, please. If I accept you, then you call. Once I accept your request, you can then call, please. If I accept you, you call. At least Facebook is behaving itself. They are behaving themselves, please. All our apps are down right now because we are trying to fix the system. We are restarting the system. We are resilient anyway. We have done this many, many times over, and we remain very strong. We are going to try once again to see if I, if I accept your request on Signal, then you call. Once I accept your request, then you call. 
If you have called before, please do not call again. If you have called in the past seven days, do not call again, please. Do not call again, I beg of you. Do not call. Let us try and connect our systems now to see what is going to happen, to see if it will allow us. Yes, I believe very, very strongly that we are back on again. I believe that we are back on again. That is my belief. We are back on again, if you can hear me. I believe that people can now hear me once again. We are back on FM and all our apps. If you have called before, do not call again. If you have called before, do not call again. The number to call this very morning is, I'll give it to you after this. The caller on Signal, can you hear me? Yes, Martin, I'm the can you? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling from? My name is MNK. I'm calling from Gabon. Please go ahead. Okay, Martin, I'm the I want to thank you for the good work you're doing. Thank you. Go ahead. And, uh, and I'm so much grateful for the announcement you made this morning. I've been trying to call you all this while, but uh, I couldn't be able to connect. So I thank you for your good work, and what I want to say is this. All the things we are, we are doing, especially back on the back home, don't have to be making it life on air, especially the issue that you say about weekend. So we have to, we have, to have some secrets to deal with this level. Thank you very much, and I have heard. Thank you very, very much. I have taken that very advice on board. The thing is that the governors, they think they're very smart. They think they're intelligent. <laughs> That's the funny thing about them. People, we are, we are demonstrating, and in the midst of a revolution, things were happening. The police were nowhere to be found. The streets were deserted. Everywhere was empty. The governors, we are begging. Please, please, can you stop? And um, let us do a clean-up and give us some time to meet the demands of young people. They sent people that were calling me, people that I have respect and regard for. They were calling and I said, okay, let us go and do clean-up. As soon as we allow, as soon as we announce it, they will make the arrangements with the with Asarok to bring in soldiers using open state money. All the governors uh, and those of them are give us uh, 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 and that we said you state. Give us troops, please give us troops. And they gave this they said to me, okay, we have army and uh, police in Iguata. We also have a sizable terrorist community in Iguata. They will no longer rape your, your women and your daughters. Meanwhile, use them to go to people to kill people, and that's what they're doing. I'm saying all of these things so that any day our own madness starts, uh, all these affiliates with this idea of always write their junk, you'll be able to push things into its proper perspective because it's bound to happen and you hear about it very, very soon. The fellow on the line, can you hear me? Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Yes, this is somewhere on the corner from my right? What is happening where you are? Is the killing still going on? Where you can see that? Well, for now, we've not recorded any killing, but the only thing there is that at Saria Red Junction, the soldiers are still very much there, and uh, during the day, they always uh, shoot everywhere, and uh, the problem with them is that some of them, most all of them are not trained. Some people can be can get hit by a light bullet, like the problem we're facing here now, and when you're passing through that Saria Red Junction, they are always... Uh, Telling someone to lift up their hands, maybe in surrendering to them or something like that. So I don't know what can be done about that or what our people can do about that. They are always there, they are always there. They are really disturbed. That's just the truth about this place. And thank you for that. I don't think they are. Okay, there's no problem. I want to remind zoo politicians, especially those of them in the East. You see all those young people that will come out again, and this time around there will be no mercy. They will not listen to any advice. All your all your irats can write whatever junk they like. Then it will be an eye for an eye. Nobody was killed in the north when they went to, to collect what belongs to them from the warehouses. But all of you in the south was busy killing and maiming people that went to collect what actually belongs to them. You pay very dearly for it. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller, you can only call on signal. Some of you calling on WhatsApp, you're wasting your time. Only signal. Only signal. Please go ahead. Yes, please. Your name and where you are. Hello? They said the army is everywhere in Obibu, killing people. We know. We are aware of what is happening in Obibu. We are aware. The world can pretend they do not know. And when the revenge will come, when the vengeance will come, I hope and pray they pretend they don't know what is going on. There is no Yoruba newspaper editor now that will see what is happening in Obibu and report it. Any day now we rise up and revenge, it will be everywhere. It will be a chaos. 
That's why I hate Nigeria with a passion. A country full of evil, lying, deceitful, hypocrites everywhere. Honesty is in very short supply. If you have called us before, please do not. Once I accept you, can call. Not call, 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 call. Once I accept you, then you go quiet. If I accept you, please you call. Once I accept you, you call. And if you call, you ask a very simple question. They call out on the line, what is your question? Go ahead. Oh my goodness, this person, do not call again. IPOB, Morocco, please, I beg of you, do not call again. I get upset with you. I'm not sure to waste my time. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, my leader. Yes, go ahead, please. And go away from where you are. I can hear your voice, which means the world can hear your voice. You don't need to be listening. You don't have a thought here. You only have two ears. As John Judy will say, for a reason. Only speak to me by the phone, I beg of you. What is your name and where are you calling from? Your name and where you are calling from. Hello. That's what I'm saying. Once you keep listening to radio, you cannot pay attention. You want your voice to come out of the radio, it's not going to happen. I don't know why people cannot learn. Something so simple, they don't learn. Once I pick your call, you speak to me via the phone. Stop expecting to hear your voice via your listening device before you speak. You're wasting our time. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning, Mr. Namdekara. Good morning to you, please. And where are you calling from? I'm from I'm calling from South Africa from Amambara in Biafra land. Abatete to be precise. Abatete, thank you very much. Please go ahead from South Africa. The world is listening. It's my very first time getting you on there, and I'm very very pleased. I'm very grateful to Elohim because this day is a very great day for me. Let me just go straight to the point. I just want to encourage our people that whatever positive you started in life, do not go back. I don't have much to say because St. Paul used to say to the apostle, when they brought him out, he used to tell them, peace be unto you, so good. So they don't, they expect him to say much, but they only tell them one word, peace be unto you. I want our people to be united in this particular time. This is not time to unite on each other. Let us united, be united to fight one common enemy. And the grace remains. Once you start anything to change and bring good things in your life, do not go back, no matter the consequences, no matter what is coming. Do not go back. That is my word for our people. I thank you very much. Thank you very much, and you have spoken very, very well. You have spoken very, very well, and we are not going back. I want to ask some of you, when it, is, when it comes to gossip, from that pig, or from whoever, you see BBC. Now they are killing people since three days now, you know, people. Where is BBC Evo? You can't see them. <laughs> they are working for SARS. They are part of the whole SARS alliance. Now it's very clear, isn't it? <laughs> Britain wants all of you dead. <laughs> oh dear me. They call out on the line. Can you hear me? Yes, I am. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Give us your first name and where you're calling us from, if you may. Yeah, my name is Sonia. I'm calling from, from Cambodia. From Cambodia. Please go ahead. We're listening. Yes. Yeah, I, um, something I want to suggest, so I want to finish. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I was talking with my friend, a white man from California. He gave me some suggestions. He said, you, you know what, you know, all we are through. That, um, yes. He said, we are the problem of ourselves. Of course we are. Uh, I asked him how. He said, sometimes foreigners can send the diplomatic from the world. They will front people man, to defend the no problem. And it's okay. So if you can able to wipe away our leaders, we can get what we want to work, put it in short time. It's a very good advice. Uh, it's a very good advice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that yeah. it's a very good problem. The senators, House of Assembly, governors in the program we have, they, they won't know that we are passing a lot of things. But when they saw the diplomatic from, uh, from um, abroad to Nigeria, they will front people to say there's no problem, everything is okay, there's no problem. So if we can be able to wipe all our head, our senators, House of Assembly, all of them, wipe them out, so that the world will know that we are, we are, we are serious about what we are doing. Say, we are saying that we need to need this in every year to vote them to Nigeria's head and everything. After some time, we are sitting back and forth. Say, you look childish. Say, if we can able to wipe this people and stop the election from us, our side, the world will know that this people are serious about what they are doing. We don't want to go too fast, yeah. but they, show, they, will, they will see what will happen very soon. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very, very much. The greatest problem, even during the war, the saboteurs we had, they did um, a very wonderful job in making sure that Biafra will not come, including Dr. Ziki, Zeke of Africa. That was why his statue was set on fire and burnt for the idiots who do not know. He was against our freedom. That's the reason why his statue was set on fire. They know what they're doing. But they're going to pay very, very dearly for it. I have a caller on the line. Give us your name and where you're calling us from, please. No. Cannot hear me. The line was playing up. 
we are not taking calls on WhatsApp, but I want here this UG black. We are not taking calls on WhatsApp. If you're calling us on WhatsApp, you are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. If you have called before, do not call again, please. And I want somebody wants to tell me something in private. Then when I finish, you can call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Thank you, sir. My name is Brian Daniel. I'm calling you from New York. From New York, please go ahead. What time is it in New York now? It is 3.06 or so. 3.06 a.m. in the morning. Wow. And you are awake? Are you, don't you have a job to go to tomorrow? Or in the morning? As it has been so difficult being awake to get you on Fridays. Last week, Friday, I was on to wait in, but I was unfortunate enough to speak with you. Thank you, Amadike. How are you? Very well, thank you, my dear brother. Mm. Thank you, sir. So, I just want to take you back to 2015 when you were with World War Congress. Yes. Could you remember one lady asking you, what did you, what did you say you were going to do? Is it war? So, what I want to say at this point is this. That woman collected $1,200 from Trump. All those headlines who were in that meeting you had in World War Congress, Trump gave them $1,200 for palliative. But look at the palliative for our people. This is $1,000. $1,200 Oh, yeah, it's true. It's true. Trump gave everybody in America $1,200. Is that correct? All of you in America. They couldn't even bring it to, to put it to be happy. Oh, this is you. I sat in that meeting. Those people you had that meeting with in 2015, all of them, including that woman that asked you, do you say you need a weapon? Are you going to work? You remember that woman? Yes. In the meeting? Beautiful. She collected $1,200 too. So why I brought this issue is this. These are our governors. Who hoard this food? So do you know how many people that they killed because they come outside during the lockdown? Do you know how many these, 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 these politicians are evil. Chinek and these people are wicked. They are wicked. Do you know how many they donate their cars and their people? Because they came outside. They force them to lock them in and they refuse to give them this food. It is a very wicked experience. Do you know why I brought this issue? And some say they are doing local government elections. Our people are we still going to vote? So they will. <laughs> black in this your jeans. Mm. Black people. <laughs> they vote for the evening black. I have been following you and I found out that you are always right. And do you know one more thing? Do you know one more thing that will surprise you? I want to know how these people will stand in presence of the youth to go and campaign in 2023, if ever they will see in 2023, I wonder what they will, I wonder what some will, will stand and tell the youth of Nigeria. Now you give them bread and pig milk, you give them, you give them one, one packet of Indomie, and they will come out and vote for him. Just Indomie, and they come out and vote. It is a very painful thing. When you told us not to vote, we thought you were joking, and now it has come. When you told us, give us money, let us buy a weapon, that they will come and kill you, we thought you were joking. All these things are happening in our own eyes. Therefore, I do not have any question to tell you. The only question I have, the only thing I want to say is our youth. Forget about these politicians. Do not stop following them by the back. Nothing good will come out of them. Because remember how many of you that they killed during the lockdown. They forced you to go and stay inside. Do not come out. The same police that live in the same street with you. The same police that live in one one big room killed us. Killed a lot of people during the lockdown. The husband, the white man, the had the kid, the husband, that went to buy drugs for the children. They killed him all the way. And they all this food. That's what Britain wants. Britain wants he wants black people are dying. I think he gives joy to some white people in Whitehall uh, at the front of They love it. Once they hear that oh another person has been killed, they they they, they drink and they uh, have fun. They laugh. One thing I want oh, to say by leader is the all the experience you see that the fuller is drink and all the, the all the things you see them at is evil experience. It's a fool that gave them those ideas. Even the idea of bringing the military that you see now, if you see the massacre in in Obi, it is a horrible massacre. The photo says that the idea of a police, evil if police. Anything you see Fulani doing today is idea of evil if police. So you're telling me you're telling me that, that we take got up one morning and said go and kill people and the army came and they said and nobody's talking now. Not only one of the Fulani are speaking, you know, no your paper is telling you to so nobody, all of them, they are there. Everybody's now pretending. BBC is nowhere to be found. All of them, they're going to hide in. Yes. Any day people get upset and rise up to go and carry out revenge attacks, you will see them, their mouth will start running. Now, back of water, all of them will start yapping the usual rubbish. Yes, you know, has he spoken about the climate in Obibo? Being rich by weekend, has that been has put that pig that is guarding pipeline for Sotam No, they will not speak. 
useless people. When the police impertaining themselves, anyone that has a little conscience, after impertaining himself, we will video a little clip and they send out. We will just video a little clip after the rebel military has uh, uh, treated and killed a lot. Then after the police impertaining himself, we will just uh, post one little clip of a tip of the atrocity they committed. The idea of doing this was a flip idea. It was a flip idea. No, don't worry. I didn't get to that point. So I'm still talking to our fellow youth that we are doing our best here. We cannot be here and be there. Let them do their part there. Let them stop running to who is in person to go and contest for local government and DJs. Let them not do it because at the end of the day, nothing good will come out of it. They will hold the food again and they will sell the food. They will not give it to them. Thank you, my leader. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very much for that. Well spoken. I like that. Well spoken. Very well spoken. They keep complaining that our lines are fluctuating this very morning. You know, in the zoo, they send a lot of signal to trying to bombard our IP address and trying to, uh, in, in an effort to bring it down. They have failed before. They will also fail again today. If you have called us before, do not call us again. Once your request comes in, check your phone. Once I accept you, then you can call. That's how it's done. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning, Marze. Good morning to you, my dear brother. Please, your name and where you're calling from and your question. My name is Kenneth Omuna OKK. I'm calling from Germany. From Germany, please go ahead. And what is your question? If you have any. So, so Mazi, I have a question, but um, I don't just have to. I don't want to waste time of greeting or something like that. We still have a lot of time to give greetings and thanks to you for all you are doing. So, what I just want to ask as a question or to add as a suggestion is that um, this very killing that is going on in Nigeria as at this moment, and in the Afghan, because um, we in the Afghan here we are getting to vote because um, we don't. Um, we don't, we can't take it anymore. Like as I'm saying for my own side, if I should speak some for myself, if not for Corona issue, I will be going to Nigeria. I have something to do on my own without even asking you a question. So in the issue of eliminating people, we have good boys who are in Jew who are ready to do anything. And we are even thinking on how we can be organizing our search here to have something like um, the people in diaspora who are ready for the fight whenever it comes. The volunteers, just organize yourselves. Anytime we hear that any of them is in Europe, then we move men there before their, their aircraft lines. We are there waiting for them. This is, this is what we are trying to do in our meetings when we hold our meetings to just do some things on the ground so nobody knows what we are doing. So, but what I'm trying to say is, um, I just still have been bored in my mind because um, the Western world, this European who are not saying anything to what is happening in that very construction today. But my major anger is to Britain and Germany and Poland and some of these special mm -hmm. countries in Europe. I made a video which I posted in my Facebook that is it not so good when we when some of our youth or when people just on the ground go destroy their tents in Nigeria so they could understand that something is wrong in that country. So they have NPC, they have them, they have shell in Nigeria, they have total in Nigeria, they have BP in Nigeria, they have a lot of companies in Nigeria that are running even at this moment that these things are happening in Nigeria. So they can't just we can't just sit down and be waiting for them until when the international community come. I think they said if you go pinch a kid, they will start to cry. So, we have to do a little thing to touch these people, even to the beggar, all those companies are supposed to be brought down in Nigeria. So they can at least make some comment into what is happening in our country. I don't listen to German news. There was a time in ZDF, I just had in one minute news about what is going on in Nigeria. Since this day, I never hear anything. They have brought them over and you hear anything again. That's how they are. So this is just the problem. Can't, is, it not, is it not okay? Is it not just use German language? Is it not in order that we go in Nigeria and, and disrupt some of their activities, their country are having in that country? So their country will just wake up and say, yeah, something is happening. This is just what I want to say, Mazi. I don't have so much to say. Let me allow other people to call. But I just want you to look into this and if it is not um, a good idea. It will be looked into. It's a very good idea. Thank you very much. It will be looked into. It will be looked into. They are killing us. And I want the videos of the massacre. I will tweet it this morning myself. And we'll continue tweeting it because it's called Vigitra Ogunofo. All the killings that the Igbo governors are doing right now, we must inform the world. It is very, very important to do so. And then I'll watch and see what is going to happen. <laughs> I feel sorry for them, honestly speaking. And then let me see the details they will tell me. <laughs> My business, oh, you're putting our life in danger. Oh. We are in Kano, oh. we are about you. Oh. Our life is in danger. Oh. <laughs> they are killing us. Our life is in danger, you know, people. For information. The so caller on the line, can you hear me? Move away from your listening device and talk to the whole world. Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling us from. My name is Chinese. I'm calling from Toronto, Canada. From Canada. Please go ahead. The world is listening. Go ahead. Uh, sir, uh, I have a few questions. My first question is uh, uh, about this Uzele guy. Uh, I don't discuss it. It's on this platform. This is Radio Biafra. It's not for gossip. I don't discuss it. It's here. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I said. Yes, sir. Simple. Yes, sir. Time to proceed beyond here. We are here discussing about freedom. We are talking about inconsequential criminals. Okay. Sorry, sir. My second question is this. Uh, isn't it possible uh, we, we uh, uh, make a little moves towards the uh, this, this, uh, refineries, these foreigners have? Because to my understanding, these people are the reason why we're having these uh, 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 problems to the fact that nobody, even in the Western world, is ready to discuss this. The news barely, the news barely put what's going on in, the, uh, in, in Nigeria uh, during the protests. They barely put it out there in the news. So why don't we, why don't we somehow make a move towards these refineries? to see what their reaction will be, because these are, these are the places they're benefiting from that they don't want to listen to what our clients are for. Um, so they, they, let me tell you something. Even if the families are not working, they have what is called flow station. They have flow stations. That's what they have. And the thing is that if we decide now to cripple and to paralyze the pipelines, for instance, yes, it will lead to environmental degradation. But of course, it is better that the environment degrade and we are alive than uh, for the environment to be okay and then we are dying. But uh, people know what to do when the time comes, they're going to do it. And uh, I will very strongly recommend and suggest because what they are doing is that our people seek asylum in Canada. People are seeking asylum in Canada with IPUB, even people who are from the Middle Belt, even European people. Uh, they, they, oh, everybody seeks asylum with IPUB and they get their papers wherever they are. So what the zoo is trying to do is to stop people from, from getting asylum in countries. So what we have decided to do is to say, Anything that we intend to do, please inbox me. Nobody should say it live on air. Inbox me, please. Very, very important that you inbox me. Very, very important, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for that. Thank you. Once I accept you on signal, the next thing is that I expect your call. Check. Once I accept you, please, 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 then you can call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Have you called before? Yeah, yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning. Have you called me before today, this morning? You have called before. That is greed. You have spoken. There are people who are trying to get hold of us. They have not been able to do so. Please allow them to speak. Once I accept you, once I accept you, then you can call. Check your messages. Check. Once I accept you, then you can call. I have accepted you. I have accepted you now. You may call. Once I have accepted you, you are at liberty to call. Once you are accepted, then you may make a call. I have not seen any calls yet, just messages all over the place. Once I accept you, you can call. The time now is what? 21 minutes past 8 p.m. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, my dear brother. Please give us your name and where you're calling us from, if you may. Yeah, um, Mazi, um, this morning, um, my name is not really uh, important that my uh, so I've already said before. What is actually bothering me here because um, to be honest with you, sir, um, I'm not happy with everything that's going on. And I believe every BF trans in their right thinking who has their brain intact. In fact, every human being, every living being who has their brain intact will never be happy with what is going on. Throughout the after and in fact in Nigeria flash. Mazi, um, there's a video that I watched recently whereby I saw a Biafra, a Biafra, a very young guy, a very young promising guy, struggling for his life. The guy was shot, and this guy was struggling for his life. But he said, I cannot even hold myself again. I can't, because now it's like we are starting developing, it's like, we're, it's like, because I don't want to go and sit up. Because I'm starting developing high blood pressure about all these things. How many of us are going to die before we do something? How many of us? to die before we do something meaningful, before we do something more aesthetic. Maybe there's a lot of way to kill, to kill a goat. These people are crocodiles. They are killing people. Every time I say any news, it's the Biafra victim. Any news, Biafra victim. Everywhere, Biafra victim. How many of us are going to die before we start doing something? And I'm tired and I'm sorry. In fact, I'm set up with all this. Uh, if you want to, if you want to be set up things, then that will be a death to be what happened. And this is definitely happened now. If you want to, then let everybody die and go.
on different fronts at the same time. Yoruba media is against us for information. Igbo media is also against us for information. The zoo is against us for your information. Britain coordinating the diplomatic offensive against us is there very strong. Your governors also, they are fighting against us. We are navigating all these enemies with a great deal of care. And as I said, wait, you will hear what will happen. It's, it's happened before. It's happen again. Just wait and see what is going to happen. Um, um, sadly, in a revolution, when you have a murderous enemy and a murderous army, these things are bound to happen. And when you have people doing that, they are your own people doing it, then it is a double tragedy. But let's take this call. The call on the line, can you hear me? Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Sir Ben Salfidi, Chufuni, is it you were? Have you called us before? Uh, Have you called us I'm before? Called, okay. No, I've not called before. Go ahead. This is, my, this is my first time I'm reaching you. Go ahead, please. I was the one that reached you the other day. I told you I'm uh, from Ibuso. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. was the one that called. And uh, secondly, I was trying to reach you this morning. I'm the one I'm uh, controlling that uh, IPOB uh, protocol. So are you? Are you IPOB Morocco? Okay. I thought you were going somewhere. I'm the one. I'm the one. Okay, go ahead. I don't know what is wrong with the network, but it was, it's not good. It's, it's fine now. We are speaking now and it's better now. It's fine. It's clear. It's, it's better. It's better. Now, I use, I use another phone. This is another phone now. It's a different phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It's a different phone. So, uh, uh, my leader, uh, first of all, I'd like to appreciate your effort. Uh, even uh, I watched your interview with uh, Dili Momodo yesterday. You really, you really did work. Uh, I'm really impressed. I was watching that video with my family, and I, I, my wife is, is, is sending his greetings to you. My uh, there's something I said, uh, there's something I said uh, during my, uh, my conversation with you, that the concerning our security. Uh, anything that concerns, like I said, anything that concerns anything about security, I'm seeing it again, time without number, it should not be discussed on the air. It should not be viewed there. Anybody that wants to ask anything about security, how we're going to tackle these people, it should not be discussed on air, because it seems that these people are using that advantage over us. They are taking that advantage over us. Everything about security, the way we talk, the way we plan about it, talking it on air, it seems that after then you see them doing or counteracting what we are, we are about to do. So it should not be discussed. And then anybody that wants to discuss anything about security, you should send it through voice message or maybe message to you. And secondly, I saw some of the individual going around in, uh, uh, in, um, on, in Facebook concerning our people that have been killed in our own people in River State. It's very alarming. It's very, very alarming. Our volunteers is on board our brand. I respect our volunteers to do the needs to for now. This is their duty. And we in the spirit, we are we are with them. We are with our volunteers, we are praying for them financially, fiscally, and otherwise. But this is the time for them to take effect. It does not really mean everybody must be a volunteer. Even when they are 10 in number, let them do the needs Even when they are 20 in number, let them do the needs to. Nobody is not everybody is not called for that everybody must be a volunteer. No. It's that the people, the volunteers are people that are fit to do the work. Let them do the needs 
that you're hearing me. Loud and clear, I say it's the whole world. I'm just listening to them. Understand the way, I understand the way this warfare goes. Everybody must not be a soldier. It doesn't really mean everybody must be a soldier. But as long as some people have been selected to be in volunteer, let them do the needs food. Let them, that's how we tackle these people. That's how they tackle these people. They should not in the big time. Like the last caller said, he said, not more than big, there are chills now in Brussels. They are the high, hardcore IPB members. Because they listen to your instructions. The way you do them, you tell them, if you tell them to go out, they go out. They listen to instructions. Let the volunteer, this is the time of when the volunteer are going to do their needful. And like I said in my earlier conversation, anything that concerns security should not be discussed. Anybody that wants to discuss anything about security, you should not tell them. Don't tell anybody about anything concerning your security. You want the volunteers to agree about their duties. No, don't tell anybody again. Let them send you a voice message or a message through your inbox. I feel me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Bless, and you too. Thank, Bless, you Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. There is a plan on the ground at the moment. The Anambra State Governor held a meeting yesterday with DSS. They will start their own killings anytime soon. Omani have started his own. Omika have started. So it is a coordinated effort. If we do not fight back, they are going to kill everybody. They are going to kill everybody. Let's take this call. The call on the line, can you hear me? Yeah. Good morning, Madi. Good morning to you, please. My name my name is Richard Godwin, so I'm calling from Lagos. Please go ahead, we're listening. Yes, sir. Um, Marze, so um, I want to ask a question. Sure. Have we, the indigenous people, mm. have we ever um, protested? Have we ever gone out in a protest concerning man in Africa? No, we have not. Okay, because this man is dead. So we as a people needs to make a point to the world. Because these people are scared. Let me tell you one content. They are all scared knowing that we people know that this man is dead. This is a weapon on our head. We must understand this. We as a people need to go out and, and let the world know in a match, in a, in a, in, in, in a protest, that that man in Asherok is dead. And we cannot accept this. No human being, not even the Westerners, can accept a president that is uh, that is to rule them. So, um, but, so I think we cannot accept it too. So we need we need to use this as a weapon against them. I'm I'm still expecting that we will march all over the world to let the world know that that man in the national is there, and we cannot take it. Thank you, Mazu. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you. People are coming up with very good efforts. And when you see your brothers dying, you get very emotional. So the caller from Germany is understandable. People are very, very angry. But I can assure you, if something happened to the Jews, they were being slaughtered all over the place. Today, nobody can take a Jew for granted. And that's how it's going to be with Biafra. We are going to prevail. Just watch and see. Now we know who our enemies are, both external and internal. And the great work can now begin. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Your name and where you are? My name is Simon. My name is Simon. I'm calling from Cyprus. From Cyprus? I'm from... Uh... Yes, I'm from Ugeli, not local government. From, you are from Ugeli, and what is your ethnicity? Robo. You are Robo. Please go ahead. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for what you're doing for the DSS. I really appreciate that. I've been following your program for over a year now. You see, it's really, it's really um, disturbing that whenever you open the news, you see their friends killed here, a wicked killing their friends in Buttercourt. The Igbo governors are killing their friends, and they are the ones inviting the soldiers from the north to come and kill their own people. This is totally unacceptable. If you check the history of revolution in the world, the most successful one in the Caribbean was the Haiti Revolution. Organized by a Biafran. Organized by a Biafran. Yes, organized by a Biafran. You try to be diplomatic with the world. The world doesn't understand the language of diplomacy. This is what everybody must understand. If the world understands diplomacy, why are they doing bombs? Why are they building weapons of war? If they understand diplomacy, because they have it in the back of their mind. If they are not going to work, when we walk, Donald Trump is not a peaceful man. He's creating peace because he has a battle to fight. Nobody's peaceful in this, in this world. Nobody's diplomatic enough to say, I'll be peaceful all through. When the future revolution started, they appointed a man. He, he was a black general. He wanted to be diplomatic. He wanted to be diplomatic, diplomatic over everything he wants to do. They, he was invited to France the way they're inviting Wiki and other governors now. He was invited to France. And the French general knew that this guy is trying to terminate their effort. Mm -hmm. So they keep him. They keep him in France. 
until the other players and the black man woke up and he said, no, now then see what to tackle these people. First, we have to kill the enemies within. This is the first thing. Let nobody shy about it. Nobody can shy from it. We must kill the enemies within. Because without the enemies within, there is no way the enemy would attack do anything. How many are the governors? How many guns do they have? How many convoys do they have? How many guns do they have? And how many are we the volunteers in each state? Let's coordinate this attack. This is nothing to hide. You won't know it. Hiding from it, we keep killing us. We don't need to hide from it. How much is sniper's gun? Remington, we get these things together. The world use gun, they produce it for sale. It is for war, it is not for hunting. Let's use it for the purpose. There is no way the world will keep writing good about us. We are expecting the media of the world to carry good news about us. It will never happen because their interest is literally in there. This is the colonialism you are talking about. One way Africa, uh, one Africa is free, Africa is free. And we are taking food from these idiots. So don't expect them to write good about us. We want the bad news, let them spread it. But what we are doing on ground is what matters. Let's organize this volunteer. Until the need food. Let's take this government out. One week, two weeks, we are done. It is not little. It is a very massive contribution. It is not little. You have actually, you have actually um, 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 enlightened me even further. Or should I say educated me this morning and I have also learned from you. Thank you very much for what you have said. They can write whatever rubbish they like about us. What matters is the ultimate. Did Biafra come or not? And our people must prepare on the ground. I told you to be mentally tough. That time has come. That time has come. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling from? We're calling from Netherlands. From, from Anambra State. It's Rolf Akwesaju. It's Rolf, yeah, thank you very much. That's where you come from. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, some of our people that is calling on this radio, some of them I don't know how to speak English. If you like me, please, you know, it's for a long time I call you. I'm mm. even like, I need more to finish to talk. Where can you do different Jesse? Different clothes. So all these things that are talking to us, you are enlightening, to, enlightening us every day by day. We are happy and we are, we are following you. Since I entered that idea, my life changed. Because of your lecture, you are the best lecture in the whole world. You are the best. Even if anybody who wants to change you, you always say you need five seconds, five minutes, I hear you. So they can last all of you. Five minutes, you so much. I hope the militia, well, if you last for two minutes, then, then you went to school. Please go. No, but now, all those things, I want the same thing to apply in our Vietnam Congress everywhere. There are even those people. I'm, I'm so, feel, I'm feeling bad when I see all these photos because we're always seeing it here. Something that happened in, in Africa, in mostly in Vietnam, and some of our people don't have access to the internet even to go and work because of data. So now, those just have that as to tell them this is what is happening. Some of them don't even know when they even say they have a protest. So please, there is a way we can organize ourselves. And once in place, they said, if you are not dying, then you go die. All this all over us, we know that there are our problems. If you are not going to die, if you are not going to die, then you see where the boy boy, where the boy give message to us. Upset as to what? <laughs> hey, the same people that killed us during the war, Polani with uh, Britain, the same people are killing us today through our own governors. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Imagine Germany conniving with a few Arabs to be killing, and then they tell Netanyahu, not Netanyahu, they, maybe they tell the mayor of, of Jerusalem, uh, they, you know, to be killing Jews living in Jerusalem, Israelis living in Jerusalem. It's, it's just, it's astonishing. Astonishing. I don't know who did this to them. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, um, my leader, good day. Uh, my name is Sir Remember, Sir Professor, I'm calling you from the Kingdom of Cambodia. Yes. First and uh, foremost, um, as usual, as always, uh, somebody called from here. I, don't, I didn't get his name because um, we all always want to find out 
if most of us that like to call and uh, contribute are uh, part and parcel of the family. So whether that, that is by the way, I will find out in the broadcast, I will find out uh, who the person was. Um, my contribution right now is that um, a lot of comrades have said a lot of things that make sense. You know, one thing with uh, the human being. Can you hear me? In support mm. of one of South Africa, Oyo Mwachi, Kapoloto. And if you they kind of explain how the night dinner between the husband and wife was a kind of uh, initiated, the whole secret will be exposed. And uh, putting all your eggs in one basket without minding what you could meet along the way, either you would love your eggs, you know, I mean, it matters a lot. Why am I saying this in the uh, improvement? This is that uh, most of us always like everything to be exposed, they kind of tell everybody, everybody wants to be told. They don't, they don't see what is happening now on the ground. And they keep saying, our volunteers must do something. Do you want me to tell you what they're doing on the air, live? Is that what you want? I don't know. Why, why are they doing that? Is that they are sabotaging the information because they are decoding the codes of the secret security conduct. Because by so doing, they will cut you through folks. I will say things you don't want to say on air. And the enemies will go and use it against us. Why them themselves will not come out? To protect it, just like uh, in the last time, that 100 billion, 100 billion has been placed for a uh, week. And how many of them have been working for that 100 billion? Are they not interested in that very money? Why are they still calling and complaining that they're paying them? They're paying us, they're paying people, they're going for billion. This and this is only a coward. Well, thank you very much. One of our sisters called from South Africa, a sister married to a brother to a, and said, in a revolution, you don't wait for anybody to give you a gun. You lay ambush. You take the guns from them and then do the need for. You don't nobody gives you a gun in a revolution. Or else in a revolution is a planned war. They hear it, it goes through one year, they come back the next day, they write, give us gun on Facebook. Give us gun on Facebook. You cannot throw ordinary Molotov cocktail, but you want a gun. Ordinary, the gun, something you can use to slow down their advance. You cannot use it. We want a gun. Uh, these people, I don't understand them. Uh, we have been men are on the, on the job. The men are working. Uh, but you won't hear about it. But work is going on. And very soon, the only you can see is the result. Very soon. We're not going to say anything. We'll talk about it. Once I accept you, please, you make your call. Allow me to repeat. If you are calling us on WhatsApp, you are wasting your time. The only place you can get us is on Signal, and the number is plus four four seven seven six one. I'll give it to you. Let me take this call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Sir, I can hear you, my leader. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, my dear brother. Please, your name and where you're calling from? My name is Sir I'm calling from Milan. From Milan. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Sir, I want to say something like this because. This Nigeria to have an affirmance. You want them that they should not go back. They should stand. And they went and rubbish themselves and went back. Now, you issue something that they will come and beat them until then. This is exactly what is happening in my liver. And you ask a question of our students, you say, My people, do you want me to get their back for you or not? Tell me now, because I understand what you mean. To get it. You remember the Pima, they are in, say that they will bring the fight to your summit and they get to kill you and the people guard them and say to you, my leader, take this fight with them, talking about the one day that they must set this law into our hands. We have died a lot. Let us go and reach them. But if they are people to go and reach them, this is what I want to tell you, my leader. Even the, thank you, even the executions are going on right now as you speak. They are going door to door, you know, people and executing people right now as we speak. They are executing people, and our radio is not working in e water. They said there is something wrong with the whatever. It's not working. They are executing people right now as we speak, but nobody will cover it. Nobody will. If you have called before, please, I beg of you, do not call again. The number to call, or oh, there are now calls are coming when I want to say the number. They call on the line, can you hear me? They cannot hear me. Plus four four seven seven six one eight two five three four six. Plus four four seven seven six one eight two five three four six. That is the number on signal to call. Can you hear me? The caller on the line. Can you hear me? The caller on the line. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, please. Your name and where you are. Hi, my name is Oki. Okay, I'm calling from Virginia, US. From Virginia in USA, what would you like to say? Please go ahead. 
Virginia, okay, Virginia, USA. I wanted to talk to you. Go ahead. I wanted to discuss uh, some, you know, uh, Sweet. Okay. After after this um after this program in the next um so that's a uh, ten minutes. Thank you very much. Bueno. He has something. He's, uh, he's an American. Maybe uh, not. Maybe because he's a Biafran American. Our people should get hold of themselves. Yesterday during the interview, I was asked, "Which are your favorite books?" And I told them, "One of them is Exodus. Go and see what the Jews went through and stop being stupidly emotional. You need to control your emotions." That way you can listen properly. You call on the line, can you hear me? Good morning, my great leader. Good morning my to you. Are, yes, my name is Ahedja Mezi. I'm calling you from Ghana. From Ghana, please go ahead, we're listening. Yes, yes sir. I recommend and I thank you for all you have been doing for us. You have been a lecturer, you have been an enlightenment to us and our own generation. The only thing I wanted to bring as a, uh, a suggestion is Many of us have some stupid questions that pushes you to try to explain to them and to give them hope so that they know the fight. Through giving the hope, you will now tell them set up all the plans meant to react or to defend ourselves. So, sir, I'm of a suggestion that such questions come. Don't answer them. You just cut it. Because many of us, many will call, treating evil, answering evil names, claiming they are evil, they are not evil. So when they ask a delicate question to reveal much about our security, sir, please, don't answer them. This is my humble contribution. Thank you very much. And point well taken. Point well taken. If I accept your call, if I accept you on signal, then you call. Once I accept you, then you call. And I will be able to take your call. We've been on here now for nearly how many? Nearly two hours. And with eight more minutes to go. So we take a few more calls and that will be it. We must remain very strong and resolute. Very strong and resolute. Mental toughness. Mental toughness is needed. Not stupid emotions. Mental toughness. Our enemies will play daily. They call on the line. Can you hear me? Your name and where you are, please. Yes, I can hear you. My name is Sean Odin, madam. I'm calling from Denmark. Go ahead. Yes, uh, thank you for all you are doing. But I want to encourage our people to keep keeping up. During the war, my father was partially handicapped, but he went to war. Today, I am older, but I will do everything that it takes as a man to support the, uh, the, the struggle. So every young man, everyone, as you give them instruction, as you give them instruction to continue to uh, go for the revolution, they have refused to go back, and that is the consequences they are facing now. Once you go back, they kill you. Once you go back, once you leave the street and you go to your house, it's over. Yes, they have to be strong. They have to listen to every single instruction you give them. Because if they tell them, what they are receiving now is because they refuse to listen to what you told them. They must be consistent. And how can you be on the street as a my dear brother? How can you be on the street as a revolutionary? And in the night, in the night, you go back to your house to go sleep. And I said to them, sleep in the bushes. Sleep outside your house, sleep in the bushes. You don't go back to your house in revolution. That's how you start from inside the bushes. Oh, uh, I can't remember my brother, these people, these people. Uh, oh. Let's all you now. It shouldn't be. Because of, of, of not listening to what you said. That is why that we are suffering the consequences now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my dear brother. And with that, we have come to the end of the program this very morning. If you know you are not mentally tough to tolerate or to absorb what is to come, then you have no business with freedom fighting. Not everything that happens, you start screaming, internalize that very anger. That's what I was doing all through yesterday. You put the anger, let that anger propel you. You use it to strategize and then to plan to hit back at the enemy. Not shouting and screaming and expending energies all over the place, being emotional, being emotive, trying to demoralize our volunteers who are doing some very important work. Some of you don't know how to speak. Maybe because you, you grew up, you, you know, and all your life you've been gossiping. Some of you should just simply shut up. Get us the pictures and the videos of, of, of what's happening in all people. Tweet, you have the handles of every media house, of everybody. Once you, we're not saying they're going to do anything for us, no, they will not. But we place them in the norm. Huh? So that when our madness starts, 
nobody can complain. With that, we have come to end our program this very morning. Hopefully, we shall reconvene in the evening. But right now, with a lot of pain in our heart and anger, from me, from here, good morning. Good morning.